Okay, so a friend of mine asked me, so how do you search with Photo Mechanic? And I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to cut him a quick video and give him an explanation because while Photo Mechanic for the Mac has uh, is integrated into the Mac OS, there's searching and cataloging capabilities, sort of. I guess that's a pretty strong word. But there's some capabilities there to search with the Mac OS. I'm not real familiar with it, so I won't go into it in detail there. But on the PC, we are limited to just what Photo Mechanic can do. And while there is no catalog tool associated with this, Photo Mechanic does have a pretty powerful search tool. It is extremely fast, and it will get the job done. Let's start with a blank Photo Mechanic. We've got it up and running. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my libraries. You can either look at your libraries from your favorites or you can go to a hard drive and do the same. I keep everything pretty much organized from my library down and then I have current projects. So we'll go ahead and look at current projects. There's quite a few subdirectories here. The nice thing about Photo Mechanic, it will let, it will let you search subdirectories. It's pretty simple. Um, I can click on it. My images come up just like normal. This is normal everyday stuff. It's a no-brainer. But if we want to find something, say I want to find some horses in all of my current projects, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a contact sheet with all the subdirectories in it first. I'm going to do that by right-clicking on current projects, open folder and subfolders in a new contact sheet. Now, before you do this, make sure that all your contact sheets are closed because if one of them is open that's in the subdirectory, it'll come up with a, with a failure and let you know that it's already open. So we're going to go ahead and open folders and subfolders in a new contact sheet. And this is going to load all the images. And as you'll see quickly, my images are there. It's going through and reading them. It's thinking about it. It just, it just pulled it together. So it found 1,560 images out of that directory and subdirectories, which is not a bad deal. That was pretty fast for those 1,500 images. And as you can see, they're all here. They're all ready to find. Now let's, let's go look for horses. So I'm going to go to Edit find and I'm gonna make sure that I search in all photos IPTC data because I'm gonna actually search for horse in the keywords so you can select all if you want to which will be pretty fat uh, pretty slow um, for this many images because it's gonna search every one of those fields and in my case I actually search for none go ahead and click on keywords because I'm only gonna search the keyword field if you know the location or a title or something, you're welcome to go ahead and select those. Um, the more that you put, the longer it's going to take. But I find that it does a pretty good job. So we're going to say horse, all photos, keywords, hit find. It's going to think about it for just a second. As you can see, the progress bar here is moving. And what it's actually doing is it's going through that whole list and it's going to select them. Now on the first pass, you'll find that it's a little slower, but on the second and third pass, or any passes after that, it's extremely fast. So what it did was is it went through and it actually selected all of the images that were tagged as a horse. So we can go ahead and close this. Now, all the images are still there, but if you can see down here, there's 65 of the 1560 that are selected. So how do we see just the selected one in our contact sheet? Uh, that's pretty simple. We come up to the view by and we say selected. And this is going to sort them out and now there is our 65 images that are tagged as a horse. Searching's really that simple. And again, if I go back and search again, this will go very fast. So I have all my selected here now let's say that I want to go find a car. So I'll go back to here, I'll say view all, it's going to give me my 1500 back. Those are still selected, but who cares. We go back to edit, we go to find, and we select, we type in car. And again, this time, it's going to be extremely fast compared. So if I hit car, bam, it's done. So there's all the ones with cars. It's really that fast. Again, I think it caches it, I'm not exactly sure. So now as we do is hit select it and this is going to show us everything that is tagged as a car. Blah blah. It's really that simple. That's all there is to searching directories and subdirectories using Photo Mechanic. 
this is an addendum to the find video that I did a couple days ago. I had a couple of emails come in about the folks didn't really necessarily want the whole subdirectory tree to show up as one contact sheet. They just wanted to pick a couple of directories within the subdirectory in, in their main project directory to show as one contact sheet so that they can search that at a later date. That's also actually pretty easy. The key to this is let's go ahead and just open up your first contact sheet. So we'll go over to my current projects like we did last time and look at this lens test that I did here. So there's three images in there. Now typically I could either I could right click and say open folder and subfolders replacing the contact sheet or open folders and subfolders in a new contact sheet and it would open all 1500 images. But that was that was the key here is they they didn't want all 1500 images they just wanted um, a couple of directories say a half a dozen or even a dozen directories so how do we do that well that's pretty simple if I double click on the bugs directory it's gonna give me two contact sheets and if I right click it my option is uh, limited for the subfolders again but let's go ahead and close bugs we'll leave the 180 millimeter test open and this time when we right click we're gonna say open in current contact sheet so now what that's done is, is it's taken the 180 millimeter test and the bugs images and put them into one contact sheet as you can see here so let's go ahead and shrink these down a little bit but now now that I have the, those in there let's say I want to add another subdirectory but let's say that that subdirectory is not on my laptop this current projects is on my laptop as you can see here but let's say I want to add a subdirectory from a network drive or a USB drive or what have you so I'm gonna come over here to the navigator I'm gonna scroll down to where all of my drives are mapped I'm gonna come over here to my digital images drive on my main server this is across the network and I'm gonna go ahead and expand that drive again the my library is on my laptop now we're working off of my network we're gonna put my net of a network folder right into this contact sheet so I'm gonna click on my library this is a working archive of my library and I'm gonna go find my projects and let's you know what I've got a a um, set of photos on Hank a friend of mine's horse we'll put him in there so there's Hank okay if we double click it it opens up off the network just like normal but we're going to right click it and we're going to say open in current contact sheet. Voila. Now I have the bugs, the lens test, and Hank all in one contact sheet. Okay, so now you're saying great. It's all into 180 millimeter test. Well, let's save this as a favorite so that we can call this up anytime we want to. These three directories or even at a later date add another subdirectory to this list if we want. Let's say we're creating a book and that book is called my book so let's save it as my book Now this took me a second because I didn't really know where to look to figure this out I tried right clicking that didn't work I tried right clicking over here and that didn't work but what I did was is I found underneath file there's this little option called remember folders as a favorite so when you click it, this dialog comes up and gives you the option to rename it. So let's call this my book. Maybe you're making a book on life out in the country. So we'll say OK. And now it adds it to the favorite as my book. So at any given time, I want to call that back. I can, I can pull up photos from my library. There's, there's my 100 millimeter test. See, it only has just the three in it. But now I can also come over here and call my book and it will collect all the photos, including those on the network drive, into the one contact sheet and then giving me the ability now to search, just like we did in the previous um, video, gives me the ability to search just this contact sheet, which now is not 1500 images, it's just a handful.